I want to invite you all to book a personal session with me. My website is www.divinelotustarot.com. You can find the link to my website below this video. Also, um, follow me on my other social media platform accounts and support me. I would love for you to do that. And let's go ahead and get into the reading. So, um, I was led to do a reading for those of you with placements of 12th house Leo so in order to know what is in your 12th house and if you have Leo there you would need to know the time and date of your birth and then enter it in into your astrology um, birth chart calculator of your choice and then it will let you know each placement in your 12 zodiac houses okay so if you don't know that information, that might be very helpful for you. But this is very specific for those of you, like I said, who have 12th house Leo placements. So getting into the reading. Um, there was a few things that I was picking up um, in regards to this reading. There seems to be maybe for some of you, it seems like some of you are going through some karma. I'm just going to be honest. Some of you seem to be going through some karma. Okay. And this could be leading to some of you kind of feeling like you're depressed, lonely, sad. Um, like you just may be feeling like very emotional, just kind of like your the path that you're on has been kind of dim or um, like it's dark. Um, but it kind of gives me like depressive feeling type of energy. So some of you may be experiencing like um, a sense of just feeling isolated or loneliness that you're dealing with um, okay I'm hearing barrenness and the wilderness so I don't know if some of you have like went off the grid or something like that or this is just how you're feeling like you're just lonely and isolated in a place where like you're not relating to other people people are not relating to you or you just feel so lonely and forgotten forgotten about either because people are just not including you in things or because you've isolated yourself to that point and no one can get into contact with you because you have went into such a like a dark type of um energy okay so either some of you literally have went off the grid and this is why people cannot contact you or reach you and some of you could be feeling very lonely isolated where you are um but for others of you i definitely feel as well too you could you know still be around interacting with other individuals but you're just feeling very um mentally like going through some type of potentially bout of depression that you're dealing with that you're not really talking about outwardly okay with the people who you are around now um i feel as well too you have a lot of personal things going on but i also see love being something very significant coming up in your energy um i feel like for a lot of you there is a situation where you are like some of you are juggling like multiple people okay um that's one thing another thing is i do see some of you like feel like you're stuck in between maybe two people who you're like really interested in that you may want to settle down with and commit to um and it's like you're very torn it's like one person you feel is ideal and perfect but the other person there's maybe some uncertainty around this individual but this person is an option for you as well too um and it's interesting so it's like one person feels ideal but you're un but you're not moving towards that person but then there's another individual who let me see there's another individual here that you're not certain about but it's like this is this could very well be the person that you're with or the person that you're about to like you're more closer to leaning towards that individual to following through with some type of significant significant commitment with that individual so it doesn't even make sense and this could be why you are also just kind of like i'm getting um like feeling uncertain or unstable because i feel like you're 
you're you're being purposely like confused okay so the person that you feel is perfect and ideal is the person that you're not with or you you feel you can't be with but the person that you're uncertain about you're with or is the person that you're about to move towards now i'm distinctively seeing you are being misled and misguided okay um when it comes to settling down and to commit to someone now for some of you it could be your own doing okay um a lot of energy has been coming up very recently just or i'm not gonna even say it's been coming up i feel like it's being talked about more um just more it's being talked about more the fact that there are people who um keep doing significant amounts of dark magic black magic um to get their way when it comes to connections or to block certain connections from coming into existence ever and i feel like for some of you you are the target of having black magic done on you okay because i'm seeing an energy where the person who you're with that you don't feel like you want to be with is could, could be potentially doing black magic on you or having someone do black magic on you to secure a connection and relationship with you i also see as well too in some instances that is the case in other instances it is your own self undoing because you feel like the person that you're with looks better on paper than the individual who you want to truly be with okay now because i'm looking at you would have 12th house leo this technically would mean maybe some of you would have like virgo in your first house then so you know virgo in your first house would represent well the first house represents your image first and foremost so whatever whatever is in your first house regardless if it's virgo or something else um tra like traditionally um it would be virgo but there are instances where you know that that could be changed depending on your own birth time and all of that so let's just say, go with traditionally leo is in your 12th house you would technically for the most part have virgo for a lot of you in your first house the first house represents your sense of image how you are looked at and with virgo being there already that is a sign that is heavily associated with an energy of perfectionism so this could be you know wanting to have that ideal family wanting to look perfect wanting everything to just look perfect and be perfect and wanting people to see you as perfect and it's just an and something where you're constantly put into a situation where you're trying to live up to some very high ideal of um how you feel you should be appearing to other individuals um in some instances with virgo here or just even the notion that this is what is supposed to be normal okay because you could be heavily ruled by other influences like your family or like what society says okay that could be very so, something that you you very strongly take into account or you're heavily influenced by this okay and then in, so that could be some of you where your self undoing is the fact that you have this picture perfect ideal of what society says you're supposed to be or what your family says that you're supposed to be and you're going along with that and it's like you're deceiving yourselves because technically you don't even want the person who you're with it's just it looks better <laughs> that's what i'm getting it looks better okay it looks better on paper it looks better like when it's all said and done it looks good so so you you're going with someone who looks good but it's not the person who your heart your feelings resonate with okay i see your feelings in your heart being with someone else okay in some instances for some of you so for some of you you do have someone doing black magic on you or dark magic whatever this is um on you or they have someone doing this on you to secure this connection that's why some of you do feel um this heightened sense of confusion going on because your heart and your mind and your spirit says you want this other person but you're with this individual and you seem to not be able to not be with this person because you know they're heavily influencing you with the work that they're doing okay so there's something about you that's very susceptible to 
um, being under this other individual's influence and it's something that you're not seeing um, that you're you, you may be needing to open your mind to or pay a little bit more closer attention to certain things so then you will be able to clearly see exactly what's going on because um, I feel like you're just kind of being like you're being like what is like there's an allure okay that you have over you when it comes to whoever the person is that's doing the black magic on those of you where that may be the case and then for others of you it's essentially a situation where you're just under like self-deception that this is what you're supposed to do because it looks good and it doesn't matter if you truly love you know this other person it's like well in the long run this looks good and I want to take pictures where we look like this and I want to have this 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 I don't know you have some type of picture perfect storybook fantasy image maybe that you've always had in your head or that other people want you to have that you're trying to play out or that you think you're supposed to have yeah um and i feel like you're trying to live up to that so you're trying you're, you're living up to some type of falsified sense of stereotype that you feel that you're supposed to have when it comes to maybe like what an ideal family looks like versus following your heart okay um so i feel like that's another situation for those of you now in other instances i'm also getting an energy where whoever the person well there could be a mother's influence as well here very strongly so for some of you it could be the fact that maybe your mom doesn't want you to be with the other person so you're going with who your mom wants you to be with or if it's not a mom it could be a grandma um it could be even a male that gives you some type of advice okay who you look at as someone who may have your best interest at heart but i feel like there is some type of maternal energy here um whether it's a female or a male who also could have some type of significant influence and two 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 um i'm seeing on the clock right now so that definitely is talking about relationships and might have something to you know that you want to look into um as far as what it means for you but um that's definitely relationship energy letting me know letting me know that we're right on point with this uh message here okay um so yeah i, I feel like there is a another individual who has a maternal energy you trust this individual's um advice their guidance um because you feel this person has your best interest at heart um however i feel and and this person has a significant influence over you and this person knows this um i'm hearing the word beguile give me a moment so i was hearing the word beguile when it comes to whoever this maternal energy is so this could definitely be someone who has some type of interest in you either choosing the person who you don't really want to be with but you know society says you should be with this person or they're doing black magic on you or you know you feel like this person is the perfect picture ideal of whatever representation of a partner or family someone you could see yourself starting a family with on paper um this person could have some type of invested interest in that person so this may be someone who is one of their family members or friends um who you've been going to for advice or um or it is someone who is a maternal energy who is just interested very much more so in you not going towards the person who you want to go to so in some instances it could be both um it could be someone who does not is not fond of or blatantly just does not like the individual who you actually really want to be with and they would rather see you with this other individual that they've maybe hand selected for you or it's more so like this whoever this person is that you're going to advise for they just have more invested interest in whoever the person is that you're leaning more towards moving in a serious committed relationship with or that you're already in some type of connection with and this could be like like i said a family member a friend of theirs or they just 
feel like there is some type of invested interest like i said that they may have with you getting going um with the person that you don't really want to be with essentially so i'm gonna call the person who you don't really want to be with i'm gonna call them um partner a okay since that like i said that's either the person you're with or the person who you're going to move towards or forward with and then we'll call the other individual who you really want to be with partner b okay so that's another scenario now back to those of you who are um having magic done on you um it's interesting because the messages i was picking up for that particular situation is that could also be leading to why some of you are experiencing some type of like um moody energy or feeling maybe depressed um and just feeling like maybe like like a lack of passion um just very somber melancholy type of energy because this person is doing um spells specifically i saw to um for you to only get hard or um excited over them okay and then i was also getting there doing like money spells on you as well too for you to give them money so with that being said um they're working on you a lot okay and the reason why i say they're working on you a lot especially when it comes to the sex magic is because i was getting energy like some of y'all are like energizer bunnies okay like you keep going you keep going you keep going um you have a very high very strong libido is what i was picking up so this person has to work on you constantly or has to have work done on you constantly and of course if someone is constantly doing work on you to manipulate your energy your intentions that's going to make you feel some type of way that's going to drain your energy so that also is leading to you having those type of depressive energies feeling low feeling moody not feeling like yourself because this person is taking away your effervescence about you you know the the whole reason of you are who you are like maybe some of you like you just naturally like i said you have a very high strong libido and you could potentially usually be attracted to a lot of people maybe that's what it is um because i also saw that whoever this person was that did the um that had the magic done on you or that is doing the magic on you it's like this person had like a personal like a lesson that they wanted to teach you so it almost feels like maybe you either cheated on this person before or something like that but this person really felt very like a teacher type of energy like they were trying to teach you a lesson so th it kind of makes me feel like like some of you may have been um like like you've stepped out on the relationship in in some form or fashion emotionally or sexually or just in some other type of way however that would be but it, it definitely feels like that person was their energy definitely was like they're going to teach you a lesson so the fact that you like i said have a very high strong libido this person has to work on you constantly okay which takes away from i guess your natural essence of who you truly are which is also on top of whatever other things that you're going through that like some of y'all may be experiencing personal karma in regards to i feel like that's also that black magic that they're having to manipulate your energy essentially you know for you to only get hard to them <laughs> okay um it's it's bringing you down it's messing with your mood it's messing with your energy okay and um i feel like that is that pretty much oh yeah and then they're also i mean obviously so they're, they're doing the magic on you to sex magic they're doing um magic on you too so you give them money and then um i also saw that they were doing magic so you actually um asked them to marry you so this person is working overtime on you like this person is working day and night and night and day like this person is working constantly on you like i said so this is also significantly influencing why you have this like mixed up type of feeling of you want to be with this other person per partner b but you can't seem to move towards this individual because you you're stuck because this individual 
partner A is doing binding magic on you to make you only focus on them, only get hard to them, um, messing with your money. Like that, they're really manipulating you in, in a lot of different manners. And um, yeah. So essentially, I feel like that's really the main messages. It's it's more so you need to really harness and step into your power because also with Leo being in the 12th house it's like Leo is a very proud it's it's very I'm hearing audacious hold on give me a moment so I can see what that is okay so one of the audacious says um, one, one of the definitions says I'm um, showing a willingness to take a surprisingly bold risk I'm just on Google yeah very bold and daring fearless it says disrespectful of authority okay so yeah I feel like it's almost like you're needing to stand up either to this mother figure you know what I'm saying like and disappoint them you know if that's what you choose I, okay first of all hold on let me disclaim I'm not telling you what to do because this is your life you have to live it you have to be happy with whatever choice you make but at the same time it definitely feels like the energy that you're in right now you're you're being manipulated and you're not even thinking for yourself I feel like there's so many people around you influencing you telling you what to think and what you want and you know what you want and what you think but I feel like you know, some of you are trying to please so many other people instead of thinking about what you want and this is showing um with this energy of Leo being in the 12th house, it's almost like weakening the energy of Leo when Leo is a very, like I said, audacious. It's bold. It's passionate. Leo is extra as hell. Leo is daring, but Leo like follows their heart as well too. Like that that's one thing that you need to understand. Like Leo actually is a zodiac sign that's very passionate and they they have very big hearts and they love you know they they have a very great sense of love okay a very strong sense and passion for love and i feel like with your leo being in the 12th house it's kind of like dimmed down and it's like you're not really seeing or using it to your potential because it's it's almost kind of like leo being watered down being in your 12th house it's, it's almost like for you having leo in your 12th house this is a position where other people can help you see things about you when you're around people who actually have your best intention intention at heart you will need other people around you who can help give you um uplifting energy and encouragement and um inspiration when you lack that type of energy okay this this is giving me an energy where you see great things in other people but you look at yourself and you feel like there's nothing special about you or you know you have a fear of exuding those traits that naturally are associated with the zodiac sign of leo that i mentioned so it's best for you to be around other people who like genuinely have your best interest at heart um not yes men not people who are always trying to tell you what to do that have some type of ulterior motive um not people that play on your fears and your insecurities because leo being in this 12th house can make someone who's very very insecure okay but they hide it very well because it's the 12th house okay um but you you need to make sure you surround yourself with good people who really have your intention at heart because i just see someone who could really be getting taken advantage of okay and I feel like there's a lot of influencing energies around you that are playing on your heart string. Um, and it seems like there's somebody who you actually have interest in, but you're being manipulated or self-deceiving yourself into thinking that that can't work or that's not the best thing for you because it doesn't look a certain type of way. And I feel like, you know, looks only go so far. Looks fade, you know what I'm saying? Um but true love is everlasting so that's something that you do just want to take into consideration like do you want to look back over your life and feel like regret because you didn't go after what you really wanted or who you really love or would you rather be in a, 
a relationship that could potentially end up being loveless you know in some instances where you know this person is doing black magic on you this person is going to have to keep doing this to you over the duration of however long y'all end up being together and be you, you get what i'm saying like <laughs> eventually like Somebody's going to get tired. This person's going to get tired of having to keep doing this damn magic on you. Or you're going to eventually get tired of like feeling tired and, you you know, of being with this person. Because I feel like it's just not going to positively lead to anything good long term. Like if this is how you're starting the relationship with someone that's essentially being um, dishonest. And they have a lack of integrity and a lack of boundaries, you know, because they're, they're trying to manipulate. They have the intentions to, to manipulate you to do what they want because they have some type of desired outcome that they want of being with you versus them being with someone who they actually love and who loves them back and you being with someone who you actually love and you love them back. It's like, do you really want to look back and have all that type of regret where it's like you could have really done something about that you know what i'm saying but for the sake of your image you just have to really consider those things you know like if 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 your image means more to you then that's in your best interest to continue to move forward and do what you're doing but just understand like there's going to be ramifications because there's only so much that a person can handle or how long that a person's going to keep doing this like is you know what I'm saying? Like someone, this person's gonna have to keep doing this magic on you. They're gonna have to keep doing it because your heart is not in this. It's not in it already. So it just seems like there's a need to be honest with yourself. Um, that's all. There's a there's a, a, a true sense to be honest with yourself and to also just to take your power back you know to stand up for yourself to believe in yourself to believe that you actually can have a successful relationship with someone who you actually are in love with regardless of what other people outside of your relationship think um your relationship is your relationship you know there's like a meme that says essentially not word for word but your relationship and whoever you're in a relationship with that's y'all business it's not like it's not supposed to be a community project okay everyone's not supposed to have input and influence over something that should be held as sacred and i feel like you should just really take that into consideration um you have to do what's in your best interest because only you know you know you only know what means more to you and what you're experiencing what you're going through and why the reasons are that you're you know choosing to be with the person who you don't actually really love anyways but um you just want to consider that in the long run um because it could really save you some time and some heartache you know if, if if you're a person who doesn't really want your time wasted um then i definitely would suggest you reconsider that but if you're okay with what you're doing and it's you know what you're doing then you know what you're doing you know what i'm saying I, i'm just here stating the messages and that's what that is so I definitely just feel like you just really need, just need to step into your power for those of you where it's like you're just a little bit insecure or you're just so used to other people making decisions for you or thinking other people have your best interests at heart or that you just may be a little scared or timid of just actually going after what you want um, just just for whatever type of fear, you know, fear or insecurities that you may have that you're dealing with. Um, which is leading you to feel like the option that you're with is the best that you can do versus you actually going towards the individual that you want to be with so you just really want to consider those things before settling down i think this is the main purpose of this message to just really give you something some some food for thought prior to you actually solidifying a commitment where um you already know where your heart lies okay also just considering long term let's say you do choose partner a which is the person you don't actually really love okay i I keep hearing i'm just going to be honest i just need to put it out there you don't even like this person you don't like this person and you don't love this person but 
okay so if you end up choosing this person partner a who you don't like who who you don't love let alone you don't even like um this person is going to break your pockets okay they're gonna they, they're, their intention is to break your pockets that's what i'm saying your feelings are gonna be hurt they're gonna break your heart and they're gonna break your pockets for sure for sure so you just want to consider that yeah especially if you end up getting pregnant by this person okay so it's a go and add marriage on top of that yes that's what I'm seeing Okay, I thought for like two seconds about not putting what the long term result would be if you go towards the person you actually want. But hell, the person who is doing black magic on you already knows this anyway. So I mean, there would be no point for <laughs> me not to put it out there. You're probably just the only one who doesn't know it. Um, or maybe you do and maybe you're just not trusting it. Um, but yeah, the person who's doing black magic on you they, they get tarot readings on you anyway so they already know this which is why they're doing the magic on you anyways to keep you from going towards the person you want but anyways if you go towards person b who's the person you actually love the person who you actually like um we have you coming into contact with someone first of all that you're destined to be with okay this is a faded connection that you're meant to be with this person is going to help you and they're going to nurture you and be very um it's almost like the missing piece to your puzzle i'm seeing that insecurity and in energy come up again that we were already talking about um that some of you may be dealing with um and i feel this person is going to be the missing piece to your puzzle like the void that you have been filling being in other relationships this person is going to nurture you in a manner that you've never even experienced before okay and this person is going to be a really good significant other to you like this person is going to be all of the qualities and traits that you actually want and that you actually desire in your type of significant partner this, i'm seeing a very successful long-term destined and faded connection that is actually meant to be so you're confusing or being confused <laughs> by someone who is doing allure type of magic on you or listening to other individuals influences outside of your own opinion who's trying to get you to be with someone who you don't really even like or love and miss out on essentially a love interest who you're actually fated and destined to be with where this person is actually going to like compliment you and bring out positive attributes in you because of the way that this person is meant to love you the, the person who is person uh partner b they are destined to come into your life to help you in the areas where you fall short this will be someone who you will be able to tell those things that you probably won't even talk to person or partner A about because you're not even compatible with that individual. So that other relationship is going to be with partner A, just very superficial. Like I said, image based. Partner B, you're actually going to have a connection with this individual where you actually trust this person. And this person trusts you. <laughs> it's going to be mutual trust in the relationship. And this person's not going to be doing black magic on you. And you will have no need to do black magic on this other individual either. I see a relationship that is built on actual trust. So maybe some of y'all's insecurities also stem from the fact that you've been cheated on before. And you have a person who is coming in to like help you. This is a person that the universe wants to help bring into your relationship to restore your faith, your faith in relationships. And have someone come in that's going to be a positive um value in your life like this person is actually an asset is what i'm seeing this person actually is an asset so it's almost like this person is like a hidden gem but you would but that's why 
you need to be mindful about judging a book by its cover because the energy that this person is working with this person is actually valuable this person is actually an asset and they're actually meant to come into your life to actually assist you to help bring out positive attributes within you and I feel like being with this person is going to positively boost like all other aspects of your life and means in ways that you never even imagine or that you will never even be able to get with this other person so you have to just be really mindful about you know stereotyping being prejudiced and judging a book by its cover um because yeah i'm definitely seeing i'm just getting um elevation type of energy with this person whoever this person is this person is definitely like this person is is definitely wifey husband material definitely yeah this person is a boss if this person ain't a boss now this this person is a boss in the making but that could also be I don't know hmm I think it just has something to do yeah I think yeah I just think this person is it's, this person is a jewel that's what I keep getting this person is a, a hidden jewel that's all that's that's what I keep getting this person is a hidden jewel mm-hmm and I definitely see if for those of you who still decide to go with partner a because you know you have free will to do whatever you want to do um, you will end up looking back and regretting th that you let this person get away from you I guarantee that but such is life you know what I'm saying like you know this is your life this is your journey for you to j learn and make certain decisions and choices but I definitely feel like that will it's it's I'm definitely seeing it's going to be something that haunts you okay but you as an adult need to make a decision for yourself that's going to be in your best interest and black magic can only go so far until you decide to take your power back and stand you know up for yourself and realize that you know you can make your own decisions like and you don't have to allow yourself to you know be under the influence of someone else trying to make a decision for you that you don't want and be so susceptible to that but that comes with you know a sense of maturity and a sense of um, taking accountability as well too because like I said black magic can only go so far like you, you still have to take accountability for your part and your action in, in these as well too especially now because those of you who didn't know you can't say that you don't know anymore now you're aware okay so you take the information and do with it what you want but that is that and those are all the messages and I definitely hope this was helpful um, for those of you who just needed some additional messages I definitely hope that whatever you're going through that you um, you know find the strength to um, just successfully heal and move through that process and step into your power and realize that um just realize how strong and powerful you actually really are okay so if you would like to book a personal reading with me my website is www.divinelotustarot.com <laughs>